We actually would deploy the shark, shark remotely from the boat and drive it around in the harbor here. So we kind of do it around somewhat systematically until we've kind of gotten everything we can. We deployed uh, a few traps that were set up autonomously to run idly. Uh, we deployed them over in that direction. We know that this isn't an issue that's specific to Toronto. It's something that we see in urban waterways throughout the world. Ports Toronto and the University of Toronto trash team have released the official 2023 results from the trash trapping program underway along the city's harbor front. According to that data, between May and October of last year, almost 63,000 pieces of small plastic pollution was removed from the water, among other types of debris. Now, to get all that junk out of the water, teams have been using eight stationary sea bins that trap the trash to be collected periodically. And this year, two waste sharks also added into the mix. Unlike the stationary bins, these are drones controlled by a person to go chase down floating debris on the surface. Over the course of only three expeditions, um, so think an expedition sort of one or two hours in the water, uh, they were able to accumulate the same weight of debris as all of our eight sea bins over an entire season. The data from this latest season shows microplastics, five millimeters or smaller, remain by far the most common items collected. But this is also the first time since work started in 2019 that the trash team observed signs of a decrease in the amount of microplastics collected. It's been about 100,000 pieces of, of microplastics per year, and this year we were at 63,000. Um, so we look at that as an encouraging thing. It means that, you know, there potentially are fewer microplastics in the, in the harbor. This year was the first year recorded of a drop uh, in the amount of microplastics collected. What, what do you take away from that? Um, certainly any, you know, when we're working at, working at this scale, any decrease is a good thing for sure, just in terms of the environment and of the quality of the, of the waterfront. Um, it's very hard for us to kind of make actually any like any predictions or, you know, extrapolations based on that data point because uh, there's, there's so much variation year over year, not just in the quantity, but in types of things. Data also revealed that fat bergs were within the top 10 most commonly found items in both the sea bins and waste sharks. And these are described by the trash team as rock-like masses formed by the combination of fat, grease, and wastewater materials, including wet wipes and diapers. The new trash trapping season on Toronto's harbour front gets underway in May. On the harbour front in Toronto, David Zura, City News.